Hey, what is going on, guys? I'm Daddy from Tag Android. So, in the last couple of months, the custom ROM development for the Lurik or LE2 has literally been on fire. We had a lot of custom ROM development within a very short period of time. So, I thought, why not check out which is the best custom ROM for the Lurik or LE2? So, let's begin. So if we take a look at all the custom ROMs that are available right now for the Loic or LE2, all of them are based on either Marshmallow or Nougat. And I have used a lot of Marshmallow, both a lot of Marshmallow and Nougat based ROMs. And what I observed is that uh, Nougat based ROMs tend to have battery life much better than uh, Marshmallow based ROMs. In fact, the battery life is uh, closer or at times better than what we got on EUI, but marshmallow ROMs tend to have a really, uh, you know, battery life tends to be much, much, much lower than what we got on both EUI and Nougat based ROMs. And Vivo LTE tends to be rock solid, stable, right out of the box on Nougat based ROMs. But with marshmallow ROMs, it is a hit or miss. Uh, in some custom ROMs, it tends to work right out from the first reboot uh, but in some custom ROMs after a couple of reboots the VOLD just disappears uh, of course there are a lot of fixes that are floating around XDA like modem files and so on but if you want rock solid VOLD support NuGet ROMs is what uh, you should look at and uh, yeah so I thought why uh, Marshmallow has these two things which uh, push it backward when compared to that of Nougat. So let's take a look now. Let's completely skip uh, Marshmallow based ROMs for these reasons. Now if we take a look at Nougat based ROMs, we have a lot of ROMs of course. Uh, but I personally tend to prefer Lineage OS 14.1 over other ROMs because um, it's snappy, solid, performance, uh, no bugs, no app crashes, except for the IR Blast is not working. But that is the case with any other custom ROM that is available right now for the Lurik or LE2. And also one more reason is that so um, all the other custom ROMs that are available right now are based on Lineage OS 14.1 only. So if a new update like a security patch update or a new build with an IR Blaster fix comes up, it is going to be showing. It, it will show up first for the Lineage OS 14.1. Only then other ROM developers will adapt it to their ROM. So uh, yeah, that is one more benefit. And one more thing is that uh, Lineage OS is sort of close to stock Android or Nexus-like experience. Wait, RIP Nexus, Pixel-like experience. Uh, in the sense, it doesn't, uh, you know, throw all the features right at your face instead of it has only uh, you know very useful tweaks here and there uh, which separates it from stock android uh, yeah i personally prefer that so yeah that's pretty much it i think that lineage os 14.1 is the best custom rom according to me of course your requirements may vary so what do you think is the best custom rom for the Loic or LE2? Leave them in the comment section below. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.